Hi, Steve here at blessedhopeforever.com. Numbers are not foreign to Scripture. On February the 22nd of 2022, 2 22 at precisely 2.22 p.m., Biden condemns Russia's attack on Ukraine at the White House in Washington. I'll have a link in the description box below. All right. Now, some would say, well, Steve, that's a coincidence. I don't think that's a coincidence at all. Remarks by Biden announcing his response to the Russian actions in Ukraine. And uh, all of the Trump sevens that we've seen, uh, many of you have probably missed those videos concerning all the sevens associated with Trump. I'll just give you a few as a, by means of reminder. Exactly seven months later from Trump's first full day in office on January the 21st, 2017, the great American solar eclipse occurred. Seven years and seven days from January 21st, 2017 to April 8, 2024, the date of the second solar eclipse. The number seven has blown up in our faces in these last days. Trump was born on June 14, which happened to be Flag Day, uh, 1946, 700 days before the founding of Israel on May 14, 1948. Now, Judah was born on the same day as Donald J. Trump. 15 Savan. Trump was born on the exact same day. Savan 15 on the Hebrew calendar. Judah, according to the book of Genesis, was the fourth of the six sons of Jacob and Leah. And he was the founder of the tribe of Judah of the Israelites. And so by extension, he is indirectly the eponym of the kingdom of Judah, the land of Judea, and the word Jew. The word, the very word Jew. The name means praise, exalt, thankful. Uh, sometimes words have various meanings. Yehuda, Judah, was the ancestor of Jesus that came through Jacob and Leah. According to uh, rabbinical uh, literature, uh, the, according to the rabbis, Judah was born on 15 Savan, the same day Donald Trump was born. Exact same day, Savan 15. Now, you can say that's a coincidence. We here at Blessed Hope Forever do not think that at all. There are a great number of remarkable number coincidences relating to Donald Trump, Israel, and the number seven which could not, in my humble opinion, be human engineered. I've, published, I've done probably five or six videos on Trump on the Trump 7 since uh, 2017. 7 means perfection. It means completion. That's why our calendar and our, our work week uh, is seven days. Six, six days work, seven, one day rest, seven days. Same logic with years, 6,000 years labor, 1,000 year kingdom, 7,000 years from creation to new creation, uh, the kingdom uh, eight equals new beginning. Now listen, on Trump's first full day in office, he was 70 years, seven months, seven days old. God planned that. He planned that. Exactly seven months later from his first full day in office on January the 21st, 2017, a total solar eclipse occurred the first since before this country, the United States of America, was formed in 1776 to be seen exclusively in the United States. No coincidence. Trump was elected on Netanyahu's seventh year, seventh month, and seventh full day in office. These are major players on the, on the stage during these final last days of prophecy. On 7 7 17, Trump met, he meets with Putin for the first time face to face when Putin is exactly 7 7 7, that's three sevens, months old to the day. In the Hebrew year 5 7 7 7, not a coincidence. On Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, October 7, 2022 this this would be one year before hamas attacks israel okay one year before black saturday october 7 2023 23 putin 
he becomes exactly 70 years old, which means Hamas attacked Israel October 7, 2023, on Putin's birthday. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. The U.S. Embassy moved from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in 2018. This ignited the conflict that is now raging. If you don't believe me, just do your homework. The embassy opened at its Jerusalem location on May 14, 2018. May 14, Israel's birthday. The 70th Gregorian anniversary of the creation of the modern state of Israel. God had Trump do that on that date. It was relocated from its previous site in Tel Aviv by the Trump administration. Uh, you'll have to pardon the noise. If there's any background here, noise, it's the cat over here meowing on my right and my horse munching on my left. Or, yeah, my, my left, your right, whatever. This is a, was a controversial move that broke with decades of official U.S. policy. No previous presidents thought of, about doing that. Trump did. It came at a very prophetic time for Israel, the church, the world, which is, that's, this is why U.S. presidents didn't do it. They knew that it would ignite a conflict, which it did, but Trump did that. Two eclipses, seven years apart, the Revelation 12 sign to 2024, seven years. We all know seven means completion. We're looking at 77 years from the 1947 UN partition of Palestine, Palestine to 2024. 77 years. Trump deciding or announcing that his, his decision to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, called it, his, he called it a long overdue step to advance the peace process and work toward a lasting agreement. I think that was God's process, okay, not Trump's. But as the embassy event got underway, Israeli soldiers were firing on Palestinian protesters at the Gaza border. I mean, just right away, immediately. The embassy moved May 14, 2018. This May 14, 2025 coming up will mark seven years and Israel will be 77. Okay, in Trump's 77th year of life, Hamas attacks Israel October 7, 2023. Now we can go back a long ways with these seven Trump sevens. The impeachment Senate trial that, uh, of Donald Trump began on January the 21st, 2020, exactly three years to the day from his first full day in office when he was 70 years, seven months, and seven days old. On Trump's 700th day in office, December the 20, 2018, his defense secretary, Jim Mattis, many of you will remember him, he resigned on the day that Israel turned 70 years, seven months, seven days old. Now, are, are these coincidences? Well, of course not. Only if you believe that we worship a God of chance, which we don't. Folks, we don't worship a God of chance. I've been criticized over time, many years, for many years. In fact, I've been criticized. Steve, you take God's sovereignty just a bit too far. Look, folks, he's either sovereign or he isn't. God has left man without any excuse. The rise, the, the sharp rise in anti-Semitism. It's the season that we're in that, that is beyond dispute. At this point, you cannot logically argue that this is going to go on, you know, for, I don't know, X number of years. We, the numbers don't bear that out. You know, when, when we have numbers like, like 70 and 80 and, and, and 120 and, and 6,000 and so on and so forth, these, we will never pass this way again. We'll never cover this ground that we're, that we're, that we're traversing right now. We'll never cover it again. Now, either we're going to get go off and get lost in a in a myriad of con, of confusing dates and numbers that go beyond uh, all of these prophetic significant numbers of prophet these numbers of prophetic significance, where that we're off out into no man's land, where that we, we don't know what's going on. Can you imagine God doing everything that He's done just to confuse us? 
by allowing this to go on and continue on for some indeterminable amount of time. I can't see him doing that myself. Maybe you can. Maybe maybe you can, you know, well, uh, let's see, 2017 was 5777. So we got a, a long way to go on the Hebrew calendar till we get to 6,000, you know, a couple of hundred years or more, you know, so, you know. And so we're just, what, what is this, just a dress rehearsal? If you think that all of this that, is, that has occurred, that is now occurring in the Middle East, which I believe is the building of Psalm 83, the slow carrying out of Psalm 83, no one, God never said Psalm 83 had to be fulfilled in a day, you know, like Damascus being destroyed. If you think, I, I don't know, hardly know how to phrase this. If, if, you, if you think that this is going to somehow go backwards and revert it, the anti-Semitism, uh, uh, there's going to be a, re, a sharp reduction in the anti-Semitism. There's going to be... Uh, <coughs> You know, this conflict, this Arab-Israeli conflict is going away and it's going to like disappear and come back again someday. I'm sorry, I think you're nuts. All right, and I'll just go ahead and say it. I mean, it, it, folks, there comes a point in all of this. We've been doing this since 2017, but there comes a time where we have to sit back and look at this from an honest perspective and 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 come to the conclusion, which I think is the only conclusion we can come to, a sensible conclusion, that Jesus Christ is standing at the door. We need to look up for our redemption draweth nigh. We love you, we truly do. Rest in Him, rest in Him. Join us on Sunday as we study verse by verse through the Galatians. We'll be beginning in chapter four. Until then, we love you all, we truly do. Thanks for watching.